Hi, I'm John Emerson, and this is what I do. If you've been to a city of Raleigh Park, you've seen the beautiful flowers and plants that help make these places special. Ever wonder where those lush gardens got their start? These greenhouses have been present for uh, the past 11 years. And prior to that, uh, greenhouses have been here providing the park system with plants for decades. John is greenhouse and nursery manager for Raleigh Parks. Inside the greenhouses, seeds and seedlings are nurtured and repotted until they are ready to launch. Each plant, tree, and shrub is earmarked for a specific destination. Flats are carefully loaded onto a truck and transported to a Raleigh Park. When they do land, there are many hands ready and waiting to get them in the soil. Sometimes a plant grows so well that it needs to be separated into smaller clumps to be replanted elsewhere where they have room to grow. Plants are just they're some of the most fascinating organisms on the planet. So the greenhouses produce between 35 and 40,000 plants for the Parks Department, including around 17,000 for the fall annual planting and around 20,000 for the spring annual planting. It takes a lot of care to produce all those pansies, snapdragons, rudbeckia, and vinca. According to John, the plants tell him what they need. So what I listen for when the plants are talking to me, I look for whether or not they need more water, if they need some fertilizer, if they need a change in environment, more heat, more cool, if they need to be transplanted, or sometimes if they just don't like their neighbor. The reason why I do this is because I really love plants. John, along with park staff and volunteers and an increasing body of scientific research, all tell us the same thing. It's good for our health to be in nature. Please take a moment, whenever you are in any of our parks, to look around and enjoy the beauty.